Hello friends, hope you are doing good. In today's lesson, let's do some conversations. How I spent last Sunday. Max, hello Alex, I waited for you on Sunday, but you didn't come. Alex, I'm sorry, I wasn't here. I went to attend a wedding ceremony. Max, but you didn't tell me anything. When did you go? Alex, I left on Saturday, attended the wedding on Sunday, and returned on Monday. Max, how did you go? Alex, I went by bus, but came back by train. Max, did you meet Ozzy? Alex, yes, I did. I went to his house on Sunday after the wedding. I had telephoned him as soon as I reached there. So when I went to his house, he was waiting for me. Max, how did you spend the time with him? Alex, both of us went to Sam's place. In fact, he didn't know I was there. He was having a bath. We got to his house. Max, didn't you inform Ozzy and Sam that you were going there? Alex, no, I didn't. I knew they would be there. We had dinner at Sam's house. While we were having dinner, the power failed. It was raining hard, and there was thunder and lightning. Max, I'm sure you had a very nice time with them. Alex, oh yes, we enjoyed the evening very much. While we were having food, Shane rang up. Sam, he did not know we were there. When he heard we were all there, he also joined us. We all had a very enjoyable evening. All of them sent their regards to you. Max, as usual, I waited for you, but when you didn't come, I went to see a film. Alex, which picture did you see? I'm sorry. I couldn't inform you earlier. Max, I went to see the Titanic. Alex, who did you go with? Did you go alone? Max, no, I went with Rax and Rain. And at the theater, we met Whale. Well, I have an appointment now. See you on Sunday. So long. So long. The next topic is Life is Beautiful. Tom, hello, good morning. Finn, good morning. How are you? Tom, fine, thank you. And how is life? Finn, very fine. Life has always been kind to me. It is beautiful. Tom, how nice to hear that. I don't think many people have that attitude to life. Finn, you see, it all depends on how you view things. The most important thing is to be satisfied with what one has. My resources are limited and I try to keep my wants within limits. I am always happy with what I have. Tom, oh you must be a sage. Few people can be like you. Their wants have no limits and their whole life is a race to satisfy their goals which invariably ends in frustration. Finn, the reason is this. Haven't you heard the saying that fortune gives too much to many, enough to nobody? So everybody is bent on self-aggrandizement. All their life is a marathon race towards their goal. Finally, they end up always a little short of their goal. They forget to enjoy life and to realize how beautiful life is. Tom, well, Pat, I have the same attitude to life as you have. I have no craze for money. I have a happy life with what I have. I don't bother about others or their life. That is where the problem arises. Finn, exactly. If you want to be unhappy, think of all the people who have more money than you do. Life then loses its glamour moves through misery and disappointments and becomes 
a constant struggle. Tom, but how many people realize that? They believe heaven is up there, but heaven and hell are both on earth and in this life. Life is what you make of it. Finn, yeah, if you want to be happy and if you want to live longer, think of all your blessings and all the things you have. Be happy with them and be thankful for what you have, which probably millions don't have. The choice is yours. Tom, yes, the choice to be happy or not to be happy. Just look at all the things we have in life, all the beautiful things, but we don't have time to pause and see the beautiful things around us, the flowers, the birds, etc. If only we were able to see the beauty of nature, life would be beautiful, Finn. For that, what you need is peace of mind, which will come only through contentment. In our constant struggle to achieve our goal, we forget how beautiful life is and also forget to live. Tom, well, we have been given the license to live unasked, and it is up to us to make life worth living and enjoyable. Thanks for your company. Bye. Bye. Looking back at the past events. Bam. Nice chap. You are. You said you'd be here at 8 o'clock. Jack, it's just two minutes past 8 only. I'm not late. Am I? Bam. No, you aren't. Jack, have you been waiting long? Bam. No, not long. But a bus left just a minute ago. I wish you had been here. Jack, never mind. We'll go by the next one. Bam, okay. By the way, your uncle has been looking for a house. Has he found one? Jack, yes he has. He found one almost a month ago. Bam, oh did he? Jack, the house had been empty for several months when he occupied it. Its owner had locked the house and gone abroad. Bam, isn't he coming back? Jack, no, he may not be coming back for a few years. When he had found a job there, he decided to rent his house. Bam, your uncle is lucky to have found a house like that. How does he find the house? Jack, big enough for my uncle's family. The house had been repaired and painted before he occupied it. The owner is my uncle's friend and he had told my uncle that he would be going abroad looking for a job. Bam, so he hadn't been sure of getting a job when he left. Jack, no he hadn't, but before he left, he had decided to rent the house if he succeeded in getting a good job there. So my uncle had to wait until he heard from his fur, from his friend. Bam! When your uncle's friend had found a job, he wrote to him and asked him to occupy the house. Jack, that's right. Otherwise, if he had to come back without getting a job, he would have no house to live in. So after he had found a suitable job, he decided to rent out his house. Ben, had the owner been out of the country before? Jack, yes, he had been abroad for quite a long time. This time he has gone to the Gulf. He had been to Africa the previous time. Ben, when did he go abroad first? Jack, I think that was about 25 years ago when he was a young man. Ben, when did he come back from Africa? Jack, he came, he came back on TR only about a year ago. Ben, what is TR? Jack, transfer of residence. Then he was allowed to bring in all his used things dutifully. But we 
but when he had stayed in the country for a minimum period of one year, he went out again. Ben, but where had your uncle been before he was transferred to this place? Jack, he had been in China until three months ago. He had worked here for more than 15 years. Bam. But where had he stayed until he found this house? Jack, he had been sharing a house with another family temporarily because he knew that most probably he would be getting the house. Bam. He has been occupying the house for almost a month now. Hasn't he? Jack, yes. And Hopefully, he can stay on until his friend comes back for good. Bam, what will your uncle do when his friend comes back? Jack, he will give him enough time to look for another house. I'm sure he will give him sufficient notice to move out. Bam, oh, there comes our bus. Let's go. Okay. So, that's all for today. Hope to join you soon. Bye.